All right, I am back home. It was a good trip today. It wasn't that busy in the store. That's what I liked, to go in there, be able to browse around and get some good deals. Um, the total price for this haul for this month was $2.26. So we're going to start off here. I did get another case of water. I have the other one that I had from last week's haul still in the pantry. We're down to one. So now we have two. Um, $5 and some change for the Sam's Purified 28-pack water. i seen these, never had them before. I'm going to try the Bob Evans mashed potatoes. So I have two of those. I got some sweet peppers. We was out of butter completely, so I had to get some more butter. Some salsa con queso. And this is for our Rotel that I make. Some original saltine crackers. Two things of the pineapple slices. Um some chips ahoys vanilla wafers a box of the original ritz crackers two things of fresh spinach i love to buy this every single time i go shopping for groceries two things of broccoli cuts for 92 cents or 98 cents um before i got the bag of biscuits i went ahead and got this buttermilk eight biscuits come in a can i really prefer to buy the bag but i went ahead and grabbed these so that will be extra here is the bag of the Grand's Buttermilk Biscuits. This was $6. The prices went up, and if you can tell, the bag got smaller, but it contains 20 biscuits, two things of bananas to keep some fruit in the house. We still have some apples and a bundle of oranges. We have a lot of oranges left. Hot dog buns. I seen these. These are a little bit different than when I buy the Fatina Thins, so I went ahead and got this. Half a gallon of milk. We still got a gallon in the refrigerator. I just got one thing of the iceberg salad this time. Um, usually I buy two, but it always seems to go bad by the time I get to the second bag. So I'm trying to not be wasteful on the food that I get and make sure if we do eat it up, I still have a little budget left to go ahead and buy some more. Two things of the family size Captain Crunch, but this is Chris Christmas Crunch, and they was... $4.97, I believe, each box. White cranberry strawberry juice, some apple juice. This is the smaller one, but it was less than $2. The uh, larger ones I was buying, which was less than $2. Now they went up to three something. So I just went ahead and grabbed that. 12 pack of Sprite. Minute Made, these are always under $2. I did grab this 40 pack of the Hawaiian Punch and it comes in three different flavors, the Orange Ocean, Fruit Juicy Red and the Lemon Berry Squeeze. This was $11. Just grabbed a single thing of the Raspberry Lemonade. It was $1.47. Um, great Value Classic Lemonade. This was $2.47. Two things of the Vanilla Ice Cream Bars. They was $2 and some change. Some more meat. Another bag of the Chicken Thighs. Four pounds and they was $6.47. They did go up a little bit. Um, Ballpark Franks, the Bar S Hot Dogs, two packs of those, Cotty Salami, two things of the Turkey Breast, these was $4.97, Rollback Sale, Smoked Sausage, and I got a thing of premium um, Pork Country Style Ribs for $10.47. I have talked about this on this channel for a while. I have been in search of catfish and I finally found my catfish nuggets. These was $5.94 for this whole bag. So that was really good. I actually should have went and got two, but I wasn't for sure about the price. Just got two um, medium-sized marketplace pizzas. These are Supreme, and then I got Ultimate Meat Pizza. This was $6, almost $7 each. Fiesta Blend, less than $2 a bag, and then Colby Jack. I needed some more red um, potatoes, so I got a bag of those. Some frosted strawberry toaster pastries, under $2. Some Yo Play um, original yogurt, strawberry, and peach. This was $5. I got some dry roasted peanuts, another box of Hungry Jack complete, $2 and some change. Raisins was $2.08, cream cheese. Got some baby carrots, some tortilla shells, some sour cream. Another box of the Captain Crunch, but this is Crunch Berries. I needed some more rice. 
blue bunny cookies and cream. And last but not least, the buttermilk waffles. And this is everything that I was able to get on my grocery haul today at Walmart. I think I did pretty good for $226. Thought I would just show you guys where everything has been stored at these last couple of hauls. The Roma noodles and everything supposed to go up there. I got my rice and beans, my pasta noodles, some Ritz crackers, my seasonings like taco seasonings, meatloaf seasoning, things like that are in here. This is medicine. Um, we have brown sugar and stuff like that. Then over here on this cabinet, I have the majority on top is sweets, um, icing for a cake, the peanuts and the chocolate M&Ms and everything like that is for a trail mix that I'm trying to make. All these and this clear canister is for the holiday seasons like sprinkles and everything for Valentine's, Halloween and Christmas. Marshmallows, pancakes, we got some ranch dip, we got the Velveeta and then we got a lot of Prego sauce for spaghetti. Um, Alfredo sauce, some of my canned goods I did put right here. Then we have some more beans and rice and things like that in this cabinet. Up here, if you guys remember the last video, I probably said that I was gonna save this for my dishes, but to be honest, I don't need that many out. I don't need to have two cabinets. So I am designating this cabinet for more canned goods that will be continuously updated. So I just got some pretzels over there. But yeah, I have to think smarter. I don't know what I was thinking, but this will work out just fine. The other cabinet for my, my dishes and mugs is, is this one right here in front of you. And I have my dishes over here. Here's the top of the fridge, just, you know, boxes of cereal. I did add some more. Um, here is our refrigerator freezer. Like I said, um, there's just a few more spots that I can add some food. It's big, but it's not as big. But I think we're all right on that. And the bottom part is pretty much full. So believe it or not, in this household, we eat, but we drink more drinks than anything. So I just try to stock up. There's some water at the bottom. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you guys pantry looks like all right you guys forgive the lighting i don't have that much light in here i try to open this window right here to get some more light but here is the snacks on the top the majority is some potato chips i do have um a few boxes of my pasta like i said before i'm a pasta girl i love pasta um here's some more pasta juices just everything is not in order i just was trying to find a space and so there's some potatoes. I did add some more potatoes to my little basket. And this is pretty much it. We got another case of water, so that's good. Over here, where my hot cocoa bar station slash <laughs> treats, whatever, I'm not sure. It's just a little station I put together for the holiday. We do have some more water and stuff like that down there. So that's everything, and that is where everything went, so. Okay, this is the second haul for today. I went to Family Dollar and picked up some things. Sunkiss smoothie bars. The flavors are pina colada, berries, strawberry, banana, and mango. My daughter got some novelty glasses for Christmas. I got my incense. Two cans of dog food. Dawn dish soap. We need it to do dishes. Lay's potato chips. Canine and carry outs for the dogs. Bacon and cheese flavor bath tissue, the original and the lavender, some napkins. I think I said my incense. If not, I got some incense, tidy cats, you know, litter for the cats, my popcorn. This isn't exactly what I buy from Walmart, but this is what they had at Family Dollar. So I just grabbed that. It was only $3.50. We got some ranch dip for the potato chips, milk chocolate M&Ms. And well, they're both milk chocolate ones for Christmas and one's just the original. We got some double bubble <laughs> gumballs. These was $1.25 each. Um, two liter of Dr. Pepper and a thing of trail mix. And that's everything that I got from Family Dollar. <laughs>